Sharon Braxton, your host of Braxton TV, and I am sitting here with Mr. John Carlos, the Olympian. I want to talk with you a little bit about your experience with Malcolm X. A lot of people don't know that you had a, 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 a friendship with um, this. He was like a... a, like a, a it was like a, like a bond, you know, okay. like he was a... a Education for me, you know, I heard Malcolm X on the radio. I, you know, I listened to my dad talk. My dad had strong character as a black man, and, and I heard Malcolm X on the radio. And his character and his, his uh, intellect was so sharp mm -hmm. and so strong uh, relative to black people. And I wanted to hear this guy. And I remember they were talking about he was going to be at the mosque on 116th Street. Mm -hmm. That's down the street That's from where I grew up, right? Mm -hmm. So I decided that I wanted to go and I talked to my dad. I said, I want to go down to the mosque and see this guy, Malcolm X, Pop. Can I go? I must have been maybe around 14 at that time, 15 mm -hmm. years old. And he said, yes, son, you can go. Don't go down there and get in any trouble. Mm -hmm. And when I went in, I remember they had the folding chairs and they had them all spread out. And I sit in the front row. And I'm looking around like, man, well, who is Malcolm X? And they pointed over to the corner, and, and I, they said, that guy over there with the glasses on. I looked at him, I said, that can't be Malcolm X. It's not Malcolm X. I said, no, man, that's Malcolm X. They said, why not? Why is it not? I said, it's not Malcolm X. Man, he's too light-skinned to be Malcolm X. <laughs> Malcolm X was blowing so mm -hmm. dynamically black. Mm -hmm. And then to see him as fair-skinned mm -hmm. as me, mm -hmm. it was surprising. But once he went to the podium and began to speak, uh, it was incredible, and there was no mm -hmm. doubt as to who he was. I mean, he, he, I was electrified, just raised up uh, listening to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I was there a while, uh, and I say a while, meaning going back to three or four different sets, mm -hmm. then I got the courage up to approach him and ask him, is it possible that I can go with him from one location to the next, whether he's mm -hmm. going to the subway or he's going on 25th Street or what have you. Uh, and he asked me why. And I told him, I said, because I want to learn. I want to ask questions. And he looked at me, he smiled, he said, well, I'll tell you what, if you can keep up, you can mm -hmm. run. And uh, it's almost like it's a part of my life. Every time I get in a situation, I'm running. Mm -hmm. And I had to run to keep up with him because mm -hmm. he was a fast walker. It was a great experience, and, and I think that I was blessed by God with all the luminaries that had come into my life mm -hmm. from, from the time I was a kid on Lenox Avenue all the way to Mexico City. Mm -hmm. what, a, what a wonderful experience to, to actually have someone that is your hero on on tape and then you actually meet them and they're equally as wonderful because that doesn't always happen. So it's kind of like a divine intervention. And that's, that's exactly what it is. I mean, to, to meet the baseball players that I met early in my life, although I didn't know who they were until I saw Jackie Robinson's movie mm -hmm. at the YMCA mm -hmm. and I realized, hey, that's my father's friend mm -hmm. there, you know, because he played his own self in the, in the original Jackie Robinson movie. Mm -hmm. But then, hence that time to go to uh, Ever Senior Baptist Church and see Adam Clayton Powell, and then my mm -hmm. father explained to me about you know people of fair skin passing and telling me that he's not passing, he's proud to be a black man, mm -hmm. and made me question my father as to you mean people pass because they're ashamed that they're black, mm -hmm. and he explained to me no son, it's not that they're ashamed of being black. If they can walk on the other side of the street and have a better life due to the color of their skin, mm -hmm. then that's what they chose to do. And I put that in the equation with, you know, people coming in from Haiti or Cuba mm -hmm. or Mexico. It's not that they dislike their country. It's mm -hmm. just they want a better standard of life so they come to the other side of the street. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. The meeting with Malcolm X, Mr. John Carlos. Thank you so much for, for all of your, your wisdom right, and right. your you. intellect. I appreciate you. The world appreciates you. And I will be back. Stand up for your rights. <laughs>